So, you got yourself a brand new saxophone and you don't know where to get started, what to do with all these things. So, my name is Martino, I'm the founder of the London Saxophone School and in this short video, I will show you everything you need to know in order to put this thing together and to get started right away. We're going to divide the video into four main parts. Basic setup, ambush your basics, your first notes, and a little warm-up routine. The saxophone is made up of many different components. We have the main body, the neck, the mouthpiece, the reed, and the ligature. And out of these five components, we have one component which is essential. Obviously, everything's important, but we have one which is very, very important, and that is the reed. Now, the reed is the most important thing because this is the one that's gonna give you the sound. If you don't have a reed, you have no sound. So we need to take care of the reed very much. Now, the first thing that you do when you open your case is you take your reed and you put it in your mouth. We do this to warm up the reed and to get it ready to play. If you don't, then the reed will be dry and it will be harder for you to produce a good sound. It will take a while for the reed to warm up. The next thing to do is to take your neck, this is called neck, and your mouthpiece, and insert the mouthpiece onto the neck. Make sure that the mouthpiece, the flat part of the mouthpiece, is facing down. And what you have to do is you have to insert, you have to twist the mouthpiece onto the neck. Make sure that you hold the neck like this so you prevent any damage on the octave key. Like this is nicely insecure. And then you go in and you insert the mouthpiece in there. Make sure that you leave a little bit of cork out. Make sure it's not this much or all the way in. Now the next step is to place the reed onto the mouthpiece. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a reed and place it on the mouthpiece, like that. Then the next step is to insert the ligature on the mouthpiece, okay? Now, make sure that the screws here are still pretty loose, okay? We're not tightening just yet. Now, once the ligature is here, now we're gonna adjust the reed into the proper position. Now, once I have my ligature in, everything is a little bit more solid. It still moves, but it's a little bit more solid and secure for me to start adjusting the reed in the proper position. And there's two things you want to remember. You want to have the reed centered, okay? You want to avoid having the reed more leaning to one side or to the other, okay? And then also you want to leave a little bit of, I call it horizon line, so you want to see a little bit of black from the mouthpiece behind the reed. And you do this by pressing down with your thumb gently so you will be able to see a little bit of the mouthpiece behind the reed. So once your reed is right in the center and you've left a little bit of horizon line behind it, make sure that you hold it with your thumb so it doesn't move and then go ahead and tighten the screws. The screws have to be tight enough but not too strong, just enough for the ligature to hold the reed in place. And make sure the reed is not in this position here, so it's not too low, because if you do, then everything is gonna be really, really hard and producing a note will be extremely, extremely hard. Then the next step to do is to take your neck and insert the neck onto the main body. And you just do that by placing it there like this. Make sure that this screw here is loose enough, okay? And then there's a little thing here on the neck, which I don't really think I has a name. If it does, let me know, guys, okay? And you wanna align this little thing with the octave key. The octave key is a mechanism that allows you to get high notes, and it has to be properly aligned with the neck. If it's not, let's say you go more to one side or to the other side, okay? That means that the mechanics of the saxophone are not gonna be working, and you're not gonna be able to play well. And once you have all that, the only thing left to do is to tighten the screw here. And that can be tight so the neck doesn't move when you play. That's it. Okay. For this next part, I'm going to teach you a little bit of the basics of embouchure. And this is really important because this is what's going to allow you to produce a note. It's not like the piano in which you just press a key and it works. In this case, we need to go through a little bit of um, understanding of what to do with your mouth in order to produce a sound. I've done a few videos in which I go more in depth into this, but for now, check it out. So you want to have your mouth on the mouthpiece, okay? So your upper teeth are on the mouthpiece, okay? And your bottom lip has to be slightly curled in. So if you think about the letter V, 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 that's how much lip you wanna have. You don't wanna go V, 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 like this, okay? Just enough. V, 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 V. 
okay that's it because this will allow the reed to vibrate properly if you don't have the cushioning of the lip then you're gonna end up squeaking make sense also there's a sweet spot that you will need to find in order to produce a great sound okay and it takes a while at the beginning to find it but something that i found very very useful for beginners is to try and experiment playing at the very tip and playing at the very bottom of the mouthpiece if you do that then your brain will understand what to do and finding the sweet spot will be so much better so at the tip doesn't work with the whole mouthpiece in my mouth doesn't work now my brain has a better understanding and if i go halfway in between the two ish i'll get a note check out my other videos on the ocean sound and three phases of sound production which i'm going to link here below in the description in which i go more in depth into embouchure and how to actually produce a sound now that we've covered the basics of setup and embouchure we can actually start to play this thing okay now something that i forgot to mention you can practice embouchure stuff just with the neck it won't be the most pleasing sound but at least it will give you a better understanding and feel of how to produce the sound there's really no need to have this extra weight at the beginning when you're just trying to you know figure out things in here make sense now let's go into how to play the four easiest notes on the saxophone okay and this will be c b a and g and i will show you everything in here okay one thing before we do that, make sure that you have a neck strap, okay? And the neck strap will go into here, okay? I have the sax holder. Check out my review on the sax holder here below. This is the best thing ever. There's no strain on the neck. It's, it's amazing. It has saved my life. It has saved my back and my neck. So I really, really and highly recommend this. Now let's put some fingers on the saxophone. We're gonna be using the index finger, the middle finger, and the ring finger of the left hand for now. now very important to know, on the saxophone, the very first key that you find is going to be a key that is going to be on top of the main key. It's like kind of the, on the second floor, so to speak. And that is going to have either this shape here or just a round shape with the pearl over here. It just depends on the model, okay? And you want to skip that altogether because that is for high notes, that is for something else that we don't care for now, okay? So you want to skip that. And your index, which is your main finger, should go on that, which is the B key, okay? So let's start with middle C. And the way you play a middle C is by having your middle finger down on the second key. Middle C sounds like this. Now let's look at middle B. Middle B is really simple. Index finger onto the first key. Now let's go into A. A is index finger and middle finger both down together. So one and two. And the last note we're gonna take a look at is G. Index, middle, and ring finger all down. One, two, and three. That's it, those are the four easiest notes on the saxophone. And what you can start doing as your warm up routine is play each of these notes as I did as long as you can. Whether it's five seconds or eight seconds or 20 seconds, at this stage, we don't really care, but you just wanna get the idea of the embouchure ingrained into your brain, into your muscles, muscle memory, okay? And the other thing you can do is you can start to combine these notes together. So we start on C, we go all the way down to G, and then we come back up, okay? That's another exercise that you can start doing and it will really help in building the very basics of playing. Make sure that you download the free ebook in here in which I've written down everything we talked about in this video for you in a PDF that you can print out and have with you at all times. And if you live in London, if you wanna give the saxophone a try, you can come and check out one of the introduction to saxophone classes that we do all year round for complete beginners so in which we do all these things that we covered today and way more okay 
subscribe to the channel to see more content, more videos about saxophone and how to play the saxophone and whatnot. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>